Welcome back to another episode of our FM22 Genium and Save with Tavria. We are in our second season in the Premier League in Ukraine, our third in total. I was really like tempted to to maybe resign and see what jobs we can get, but I thought one more season. And I think I've made my mind up now, so yeah, we're going to go for it. Our finances aren't great, but they have put a lot of money back into the club, so we're only 100 grand in debt now. We were about a million. Um, I still don't get any badges, um, so I, yeah. But I think it's such a good league. I don't think we could match it if we moved clubs. Anyway, transfers in. As you can see, the outs, Oleg the Tall, Davis Imis is on loan um, to get some game time. And Peter Lawrence kicked up such a fuss. I sold him for 15 grand and 40% of his next uh, selfie. Sell, not selfie, as is sell fee. Um, release players, a lot. You can scan your eyes over them and... Yeah, they're basically a lot of the squad players that we used. Um, not first teamers, but um, still pretty good players. Anyway, the signings that we have got. Um, also, Sam Bates has gone. He's uh, gone to Sunderland. Our first signing, Michael Duncan. He's our first to the club. And yeah, looks quite solid, I would say. He's going to instantly go up front. Um, I've changed the formation as well, playing a different style. We've got Cami Palmer in. Again, solid player. He's on a lot of money, two and a half grand a week. Because he's a, an international, twenty six. He just, you know, I'm, I'm going out, all, going all out this season. Um, Oleg Sol Solovey, um, just solid. Those mentals are unbelievable. So yeah, solid player on low wages, and a bit of a punt really. Eugene, my Ronenko, just no pace, no physicals, but he can put the ball in the back of the net, and he's got a wonderful first touch. So maybe he's a bit like a Berbatov, maybe. Mm, yeah, I would say so, um, and. It's not over yet. There's a plenty more signings to be done on free transfers. We've got a lot of money to play with, wages-wise. But we'll dive into the first game of the season against Zorro. Um, but before we do that, let's just see the season preview. There's not too much else to, to catch up on. Um, but yeah, we're 16th predicted. So nothing's really changed there. And in fact, I think we're going to definitely go down quite powerfully. So mm, this is a tactic. Fiat friend, I know, going a bit balls to the wall. Um, just quite more, a bit more direct. I think the best position is we've got good strikers, so yeah, I want to do that. Um, I think just before we get into it, Palmer, do I play him as a deep line playmaker? He's very good at a ball winner, but it looks like he's got more about him. So maybe I'll do this with Dave Green, um, unless I put Anton as the as the playmaker from from deep but I'm not too sure really we'll see we'll see his decisions are good um let's just see how it goes I suppose um just I yeah we've got Sly you saw still Jack Brown let's just dive in and see how the first game goes our right back is a massive weakness um Dedka suspended so we'll see what happens there um but there is some people on trial that I'm looking at first game of the season let's see what we're made of so four signings in, a lot of left, but I think we're going to probably sign another four players, so something like that. So, yeah, we'll see. We're getting dominated possession-wise, which is quite uh, obvious. Uh, we'll see how we shape up. It's, it is quite risky, this formation, but I just want to see how we hold up against like, a really good side, I would say. Um, yeah, three strikers. It's uh, It'll be interesting as the first highlight. It looks like it's going to go... To the host's way but we, you never know we, we do press a little bit we're not like super high at all um we've got to be a bit careful obviously we're a pretty narrow side um so the the wingers and the crossing could be an issue as this looks pretty slow but yeah i'm, I'm hoping our center backs are good enough martinez and Danogo to do a good enough job as uh, shinerenko and it's a good cover recovery pass by um Palmer, but it looks like they're coming back again and they shoot wide. But Cami Palmer does pretty well actually to just pick up the pieces. I think he is playing the deep line playmaker role, isn't he? So we'll see how he behaves in that position. As we have a free kick, Martinez, the centre back. If I feel like he's trying to be like David Louise, um, I'm not sure if I should really maybe get somebody else on free kicks. He's on eight, so yeah, maybe. Shana Karenko just thumps it in. Wilson. I mean, that was never going in. I mean, the ball's in the net, so... Ref? It's half-time. Nil-nil. I mean, keep it up. 
we haven't got much possession, so hopefully we can create a chance, because we haven't really had one yet, but I feel like maybe if we get a chance, we're going to score it, I'd like to think. Um, yeah, let's see how the second half gets on, as they look to go straight behind our defence, right from kickoff, which is a little bit scary. I feel like we've definitely got better side, so I'm more confident in staying up than ever. And a little bit, want a little bit more about us, but I, I, then again, I have changed the tactics entirely. Um, and me, I'll obviously have to adapt it within like the first five games. I always do little bits of tweaks, and then you have to have a good 10 game run just to see what's happening, with of course tweaking if need be, especially in Shakhtar Donetsk and Dynamo Kiev. As the other highlight now, another highlight, hopefully, we can watch the runners. If you enjoy the video, enjoy the journeyman, um, get involved in the comments. Um, you might be next, the next new gen. Hopefully I'll try and pick a better one than Isaac Ray. I mean, I'll keep an eye on him, but he's not doing too well. Um, maybe I'll sign him at the next club and loan him out. And he can be our third goalie. We can give him a career. Um, but yeah, no, if you like the videos, give it a like. Subscribe if you're new. It helps massively. And hopefully we can celebrate with a, with a goal as a... We're starting to string a bit of play together. It is Duncan, our new striker signing. And to another one, Palmer, the deep line playmaker. Tries to cut it back. He can't. Gads up to Dirky. And he does manage to find the back of the net. They're, they're appealing offside. I'm not so sure. I feel like Dirky just lo lobbed the, the ball into the back of the net via his head, which is pretty special. Oh, it's disallowed, damn it. I feel like... Oh, I hate VAR sometimes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. I suppose yeah, he is he's quite off he is quite off to be fair. Um unlucky. I mean it shows that we can be quite a threat still. I just hope they don't go up and score. I feel like a lot of the time after a disallowed goal, there's a goal to be scored straight away. Oh, the right back diving in. Mane, Janino, Cocker Grin, nice. Janino, we're applying a bit of pressure. Hopefully, we can hit the, get the ball off him. Go on. No red. No red card. Oh, they're going to find some space here. Oh, they're knocking it around quite nicely. Janino, they're trying to find their way in. They cut it across the face of the goal. Oh, what a save by Tatarenko, who has been there. Tatarenko, yeah, so he's been solid. He was solid last season. I think he made one or two mistakes, but. It was fine because he had like a 9.4 in one game or 9.6 which was unbelievable well we did lose that game but you know he's a good goalie he's a good shot stopper and he does that sweeper role quite nicely um we're doing okay as in we're actually doing all right Kovalenko one of these strikers Santoso should we get him on he's got 12 finishing now so you know you tell me let's yeah let's go for this and let's go he can still be a pressing forward. Let's attack. So he seems to be a bit like an advanced forward as well. Oh, Martinez, die. Oh, saved by the keeper. He's never going in. Maybe what I'll do is as well get some subs on for the midfield. Oh, it's a good cross, but um, not to be. Palmer for Jack Brown. Maybe that's it. I just kind of like Jack Brown. I do like him. My my scouts and coaches don't like him as much, but I think he's solid. He can do pretty much everything. Hopefully we can keep this goal out. Keep this attack out even, sorry. Ooh, headed over. I have just tweaked the tactics to go way more direct. Um, not play out from the back, so hopefully we don't concede here. I, keep, I feel like I keep saying it all the time. Get rid of it. And we're going way more direct. We're going to look to distribute over the defenders. And we've got three attackers, so surely you'd like to think that we're going to create some sort of one-on-one -on -one or get through the defence at some point because it's been a close game and they're just going to keep pile on the pressure if we can get the ball and that is a big if because they have been looking after it really well as they float to the back post and they just they can't get their headers in as we approach the last two minutes of the game and here we go we're going to boot it I feel like this isn't going to work not that one anyway that wasn't he's got really good kicking as well like 17 or 16 so he should be amazing at kicking it long and I feel fear the worst here but we intercept the ball Jack Brown he's got a pass on him but he passes it to Anton Santoso oh that was really poor 
really poor. That was a really good chance. And we're gonna boot it we're gonna boot it away. And yeah, Santa Jose really let me down there. Oh no. Come on, not that not like this. Boot it away, Santoso. Oh come on. You're six foot one, mate. This is gonna be a massive letdown if we can see like this. And we have. And that is really, really bad. Like we've booted the ball away quite a few times and we just yeah. Didn't like get our foot on it, which is really annoying. We've lost one nil. Not really happy because I think we'll leave it there. Um I'll do some signings and I'll catch you up in a few games time. Um let's not get smashed by Darren Kiev on YouTube again. Um uh, maybe I'll come back for these two very difficult games, um challenging games anyway. So yeah, I think um I'll see you guys next episode.